Toby, what you got there? Toby. Hey, hey, give me that. What does that say? Hey, give me that back. I need that. Well, did you get your wish? <laughs> Charger Bank has sent me. 
Oh, that's almost like the one I have. Yeah, if you wanted to check out more, uh, Banggood sent me the sweet charger. You can check it out right here in the link somewhere below. That's pretty cool. Let's get on to part six of this airplane. Uh, we have to fire it up, so let's do that. Even though it's like one in the morning, my mom's trying to sleep or whatever. The paperweights are installed finally. Yes, they are. Look at these things. Really big thank you to Hobby King for sending me these things. I didn't really have too much money to buy these, but they sent me two of these Aurora Max 150cc electrics. If you guys want to check more about that stuff out, you can look in the description below. It's pretty sweet. Um, check these out. Thank you, Sam, for letting me borrow these batteries from the uh, place we work at. <laughs> How much is this one a piece? How much are these a piece? $3,000. Oh, they are not. The shoes? They're not $3,000. $3,000. Okay, so we got further along in here. We got this throttle quadrant, which is pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. It needs slightly adjustment. As far as, as far as the windscreen goes, I'm not fully done with this yet, so don't don't freak out too much. Also, we did not. Um, everyone's like, oh, you got a safety wire the uh, turn buckles. Yes, I'm aware of that, but the problem is we take the airplane off like every every three hours. I have to take the whole plane apart to do more stuff. So are that's why. Or Arduino's in the. Uh... No, those are like three dollar uh, server testers you get from Amazon. Actually, I think there's a, a link down below my Amazon affiliates if you want to find out where to get these little servo tester things. They're like three bucks, it's super sweet. It's pretty convenient though, cause you can stick any potentiometer on it. So it measures the high and the low or whatever and the, the wiper thingy, you, we were discussing this, but yeah, if, if you're wondering, almost any potentiometer works in this thing. So these are sliding potentiometers and I just put them on there and they worked amazing. What happens if it gets stuck full open? Then I have to reach down there and unplug the airplane <laughs> or troubleshoot this thing while the engine's running at wide open throttle. Just the... Uh... What? Servo extension. Oh, I don't know if that works either. I'll carry a pair of, of diagonal cutters and I'll just cut these, you know, if the, if the motor's running too much, I need to stop. Oh yeah, check out this wire. Look, this stuff is some six gauge wire. I wanted to make sure I didn't have any resistance loss in this, so this is what we did. Oh, also look at this. I 3D printed these too. More shooter uh, product placement. Yeah, these took about like uh, five minutes each to make, which is really nice, so. That's gonna go there. It'll look pretty sweet when this, when this is done. You wanna plug it in? Yeah, do it. Okay. <laughs> you gotta help me with this to make sure I don't screw something up because I my brain's not working very well. Okay, let's see. This goes into here, correct, to make series. Yes? Okay. Uh, those are so hard to plug in. This is a rat's nest, which it really needs to be a little bit organized better, but we'll do that later. Okay, so here in, in this cluster of uh, whatever of wires, we have the spark arrestor, which is this Amos connector, but the problem is XT90s are only rated for 90 amps. The problem is this plane pulls somewhere north of 360 amps at full throttle, which would instantly melt these connectors, even though we're running half of that, but still that's too much current between four batteries. So this is simply just to plug it in, just to avoid the giant spark. Oh, like this. Okay, no spark. All right, now this plugs into the actual power so there's no giant explosion when these touch. You ready? Yeah, do it. No explosion, no smoke, no fire. Okay, that's good. Now the second auxiliary batteries. Hey, you ready? Do it. Okay, no explosion, no fire. We're good. Man, these suck. They're brand new. You Are you ready? Oh, let me get out. You don't get smacked oh. by these giant spinny boys? <laughs> supposed to do that the elevator just moves up and down it coming out of picking fuse line <laughs> you see them bolt yeah oh they moved wow that's a lot of thrust in there. it was was it pushing you pretty good it looked no, like no, you were struggling oh man go over there and hold on to the tail yeah I don't want to be up here anymore push oh I'm serious this is death trap this big well I just well you're gonna be sitting next to it but anyway what are you doing then? I'm gonna go sit in it and run it up again. 
I want to hit full throttle this time. Just don't bump those uh, levers when you get in. Uh, levers. I still haven't really fastened the seat in all the way. So. What are you doing? What are you holding on to? Hold on. What are you going to hold on to? I don't need to hold on to anything. Well, he's going to take off, but he, but he's going to push, but he's in, in there now. Break it away. <laughs> with the propellers. Here we go. Crank it up the throttles. You're letting it move. Is it really the good one? So it, it, it can pull you around? Pretty good. leaning me. Because I didn't get full throttle. I only want about 75%. Oh god, and it got into my leg. Okay, cool. This is more than enough thrust. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Okay, for this check, now we have to check the high, uh, highly critical point of this airplane because the batteries are in the spot where I think I'm going to put them, and the motors are obviously fastened to the airframe. So now I check the center of gravity. The center of gravity is very important in airplanes because if the center of gravity is too far backwards, you lose uh, pitch stability and the plane will crash and you'll most likely die. Uh, that's basically because the center of lift is uh, right where the center of gravity is, or if the center of gravity moves behind the center of lift, you're dead. If the center of gravity is too far forward, it, in front of the center lift. The plane will be too nose heavy and I'll have a hard time getting it off the ground, but I'll live through that one. So to check this, I made these. These are some pieces of wood and we're gonna slide them under the wings to check the center of gravity when I get in it, just cause I'm too lazy to get some scales and do math. Lift it up. Hey, don't uh, lift up the bottom one. The, the top one's not as strong as the bottom one. Top one not strong? Yeah, I mean, this still plays plenty strong, but not as strong. All right, down to you go. Okay, now let me get it and see what the center of gravity does. All right, now lift it up. Is it heavy? No. How, 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 is it trying to balance or what? Try to, try to balance it. Well, I like to go right here. Oh, so it, okay, cool. Oh, this is actually perfect. This is where the CG's supposed to be. Right huh. there. I got stupid lucky. Okay, we're good. This is like this. Is, uh, unfortunately, this is the most half end of the CG limit, though. But luckily, I could probably just add a few like water bottles and stuff in there for the batteries when it crashes, when the plane catches on fire, and a fire extinguisher in the nose. Aircraft spruce manual, or is that too heavy? Uh, actually, l l l let it hit the ceiling. Is it, is it hovering there? Oh, this is perfect. We're good. This is golden. Lean back. There you go. Oh, uh, don't let it go. Okay. Pay attention, old man. You gotta catch the thing. <laughs> I thought you were gonna tilt yourself. I forward. can't do it when the thing runs away. I don't have that kind of fulcrum thingy <laughs> on it. But okay, uh, I think this concludes part six of this. Yeah, we're gonna be flying really soon. I'm not gonna do the Q and A today because uh, I'm extremely tired and I gotta edit this thing in like hours and get it out there because uh, I have to do the final checks, which is drill every single bolt hole for anything flight critical. I gotta safety wire all this stuff, and I gotta double check everything before I actually go and fly it. But, uh, yeah, tune in for the uh, maiden flight or maiden uh, crash, depending on what happens. Uh, yeah. I'm not, you can cut anytime now. Get it no, back. Perfect. Now that works. <laughs>